Hello Internet. Today we have this 3090 from EVGA that came with a red light of death. For those who don't know, red light of death is the red light at the PCIe connectors that stays red, indicating a short circuit powered specifically by this cable. So let's take this thing apart and see what's shorted. As expected, we have a short exactly on that 12 volt line. This 12 volt line is powering a number of driver MOSFETs, so my guess one of them is blown, so let's find which one. I'll be injecting voltage into this circuit while looking for a hotspot using thermal camera, which reveal that one of the driver MOSFETs is showing up on the screen, which means it's dead and needs to be replaced. Before I spend a day fixing this problem, I want to make sure that the 12 volt never made its way into the core by simply measuring for voltage on the load side. And since it's low, we might have a chance for repair. Ok, driver MOSFET is removed, so let's take a look at what's going on. Looking at my diagram and comparing it with the part, we see that the 12 volt is dead short to the output, which technically means that the 12 volt should have traveled directly into the core, almost as if the transistors inside had turned from NPN to PNP. The reason why 12V did not get through is because the internals of the driver MOSFETs are able to pull 12V into the ground before it reaches output. And since ground resistance is the lowest, 12V will go directly into the ground, leaving the core protected. All of this is just a theory, just like the theory of evolution, which can either be a fact or a fiction, until proven. So let's prove our theory by powering the card. And since the display did not switch, something else must be wrong, so let's have a look. Upon checking that same 12 volt rail, it looks like we only get about 1.7 volt after the fuse, which means that the fuse is dead, so let's replace the fuse and see if that helps. With that done, we now have good 12 volts, so let's see if we get a picture. Alright, it looks like we have a picture, and consequently, unlike the theory of evolution, we have an actual proof of our theory, officially making our theory scientific. Because if theory is not scientific, it's basically a religion, regardless of any argument. In any case, let's prepare a new part and solder it on. Now let's make sure that every phase is generating a good signal profile, which as you can see it does. Then clean it up, put new set of pads, following this cheat sheet I made a while ago, which by the way is in no shape or form 100% accurate, so if you plan on using it, do it at your own risk. And with that done, card is put together, looking awesome, so let's power it on and see how well it works. Thank you. 
everything looks fine. It seems to run games no problem, and all that I have left to do is to ask you for a comment, maybe a like, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.